We've seen that the purpose of the power that Jesus promised in Acts chapter 1 verse 8 was simply that we would be witnesses. Because God, God's heart in the baptism of the Holy Spirit is twofold. That he would live in us and by living in us that he would use us to lead others to himself. And so in the first chapter, of, the first few chapters of Acts, once the Holy Spirit was poured out, we actually see that every action led to a very specific reaction, to a very specific outcome. The believers spoke in tongues and new people believed. Peter and John healed a lame man and new people believed. Peter and John preached Jesus, they were arrested and new people believed. In fact, personally, I believe that Acts 2.47 is the linchpin of the entire book. Because that verse tells us what God was doing in every gift of the Spirit, in every miracle that was worked, in every arrest that was made, in every victory that was won, in every persecution and even martyrdom that was endured. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. Sometimes we skip over that or we act like that was just an early part. That's the only part. Like basically, Luke wrote that right up front so that we would understand everything you're going to read is how God added to their number. Everything you're going to read is God in the middle of everything because one thing matters to God, the redemption of souls. If I could stop here for just one second before we even get into the meat of the text. What if every detail of our lives? As those who belong to God through Jesus, those who are filled with the Holy Spirit, what if every detail of our lives is simply how the Lord is working to add to his number? What if every trial and every offense, every season of waiting, every grief and every frustration, as well as every blessing, every victory, every miracle and promotion, what if every one of them is how God is working to save souls through our lives? If we believed that, would we respond differently? Would we pray differently? Ultimately, would we live differently if we believe that everything that comes and goes, everything that happens and doesn't happen, everything that is said and goes unsaid is how God is working through us to save others? Would we hold on tighter or maybe let go of some things we've held too tightly? Would we linger longer or maybe get ready to leave because we've already waited too long? Would we be willing to do whatever God asks because it's not about us and our pleasure and our comfort and our wants or even our promises, but it's about God's desire that none would perish but that all would come to repent? 